Hello, my loves, and welcome to Bahati Life YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Alexandria, and I'm the creator and intuitive tarot reader. What is my normal intro? I can't even remember. The witch behind Bahati Life Apothecary. You can visit me at Bahati Life. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive into this Virgo full moon because I've already flubbed that up enough. So this full moon is going to be happening on March 18th, 2022. I have the charts pulled up for 2.22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but this full moon is going to be happening a little bit late. That's just how I pull my charts. I always pull it in intuitively and I move it with numerology most and syn synchronicity in that way. Guys, we really need to talk about this full moon because there's a few things that are really calling out to my attention. Before we do that, I just want to give a quick disclaimer. I am clearly working from my sunroom, from my house, from my personal safe haven and abode. I do have chickens. I love homesteading. I love farm life and I do have dogs. And because I'm in a natural environment, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some type of distraction or noise in the background and as we say that here comes my favorite leo baby franklin who's just kind of migrating slowly and peacefully behind me in the camera so um i just want to apologize in advance for any distraction and noise as you guys know i love to just work with my intuition and just work with spirit and work with the forces so that just requires a, a healthy level of flow and flexibility which we're going to be tapping into all right having said that you guys I don't want to say that this full moon is concerning because it's not that. I just think that there's some things that we should be aware of. And before I dive into one of the major things that I think is going to be problematic and that we're definitely going to see, which is probably going to be later on in this video, I want to step forward with talking about the overall general energy of a full moon and the sign that it is that it's falling in. Again, that is Virgo. Full moons naturally connect to bringing things up to culmination to a full surface. They heighten our emotions and heighten our natural animalistic desires and instincts within us in a way that we can't really hold back in any way, shape or form. We just have to just release and allow our, our crazy to just kind of flow. And I say crazy with love because each one of us has a little bit of healthy derailment that happens at the time of the full moon. And one of the things I like to do is to channel this time in order to work my magic by that chimenea out in the backyard or by the beach or whatever it is that I feel called to go to and just allow myself to move, flow, release, but that's just goddess energy to each their own, right? So let's say, put your magic aside, but let's say the full moon brings something to the culmination. This is something that has been happening and occurring in your life, but the full moon just kind of brings it up to the full surface so you can see it. And chances are not avoid it any longer if you are or if you have been. Virgo naturally rules our ability to be of service to others. It rules our diet. It rules our routine, our rituals, and our overall hygiene, how we take care of ourselves in order to maintain and preserve our longevity. Also, Virgo naturally connects to the idea of discernment. So this is when we listen to our bodies and we listen to spirit and we ask it to speak to us clearly so we can intuitively know and discern what is good for us and what is wrong. Now, in the year of 2022, this year is so majorly focused on the idea of alignment and harmony. And sometimes when we look at those words, we can only see and feel the good, which is awesome. But we also have to assess and be aware of the things that we are trying to connect ourselves with which do not serve us and the only person who can answer that question for us ultimately is us now that leads me to my next point that i want to talk about for this full moon that although the full moon is happening in the sign of virgo we still have to look at virgo's polar opposite which is pisces why because the full moon is literally the opposition of the sun and the moon now Pisces is known, notoriously known for our ability to connect channel to the divine, to the universe, and selfishly and selflessly connect to humanity and the greater good. Now, when we do this, this can really bring out the shadow aspect within ourselves and with other people. But for the purposes of today's video, I really want to focus on the, the overarching and most powerful message, which is processing what spirit, the higher self, is bringing to your awareness at the time of the full moon regardless of what it is that that looks like. Whatever it is that you are channeling, whatever it is that you're pulling down as these, um, as spirit and as your angels and as your guides provide intuitive downloads, you are going to want to process it. You're going to want to discern, okay, who and what is, it, what is this coming from and where does it fall in my life and where is it guiding me in my life and does this 
person, place, thing, or information, does it serve, serve a purpose or should I just toss it out with the trash? Virgo is absolutely known for taking what doesn't serve us and moving it so that you can expel it, so that you can release it, so that we're not dispersing it anywhere else in our lives or even in, internally in our bodies, mind, soul, and spirit. So at the time of the full moon, this type of energy is absolutely 1000% going to be highlighted and magnified in your life. Again, any information that you were receiving at the time of the full moon, which again is gonna be March 18th, 2022, you are going to want to take it very seriously and take additional time to not react to it, but observe it and then decide for yourself, is this medicine for me? Is this poison? What is it that I'm har harmonizing with? And as someone, something reveals its true colors, what position and placement doesn't serve in my life, if any position at all? The next thing that it is that I want to talk to you guys about, and let me just check my notes really quickly because as a Virgo, I like to be, yes, I like to be organized. I want to talk to you guys about boundaries. Now, I mentioned this in my TikTok um, video that it is that I'm posting. If you're watching this video now, chances are it's up already. So follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter at Bahati Life. But the one thing that I wanted, I did mention is the idea of boundaries. This is because Virgo naturally rules our ability to be of service to others, to the world, and to the community. And with the full moon, there's this heightened space, this specific full moon, you guys, there's this heightened space and message about availability. Are we too much available to others? Even someone and something that it is that we want to be available to, and even if their intention is not malicious, we still want to ask ourselves, are we too available in the situation? Should we back off? Should we allow them to fend for themselves in order to self-protect and self-preserve? Okay, so one of the reasons why this is being highlighted within the time of the full moon and what I can see within the chart is the fact that Mars, which rules our drive, our ambition, and our ability to fight for ourselves and even go to war, Venus, which rules relationships, beauty, aesthetic, and love, and also Saturn, which rules our foundation and our rules and regulations, like how we create boundaries for ourselves, is moving through the sign of Aquarius. And Aquarius thinks about the greater good of humanity, but also for yourself and big picture, larger than life and into the future. Now, all of these personal planets squaring off with Uranus sitting in the sign of Taurus is triggering this idea of I need to escape or I need to disconnect in order to come back to myself and 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 serve myself maybe at this point or there's a, a strong chance that you if you have been in a cave or dormant or pulled away from others now you're going to be called into action and fight for others or show up for another way uh, show up for others in a way that is selfless of yourself now this is not permission from the universe for you to put yourself in a martyr like position or to put yourself on the chopping block or allow yourself to be used and abused. Again, use your own discernment and your own intuition and talk to spirit first. That should be your regular routine and a part of your spiritual hygiene regardless of what I or what anyone else is telling you on the internet. Did you talk to God or the divine or to your higher self first before you started making any action and changes, major changes in your life? That should always, again, I can't stress this enough, come first and foremost. I will never guide you to listen to me, my advice, or my own intuitive messages over your own intuitive, intuitive guide or counsel, okay? The one thing that I did talk about in the TikTok video and on Instagram is that separation is going to equal self-preservation 1000% at the time of the full moon. And this is not something that you're going to be comfortably allowed to be passive with. This is a very active calling it up to the forefront um, full moon type of energy, which like it or not, it just is what it is. And of course, it's always for your highest and greatest good. One last thing, and I know this is a mouthful, but Gemini is being lit up. I'm going to call that by the part of fortune. Gemini rules information, the things that it is that we hear, see, and receive, and the things that it is that we can say. So this information that is being thrown onto your lap at the time of the full moon is 1000% going to be your good luck charm. Ultimately, it's going to be up to you to decide what it is that you're going to do with it. And that is going to lead me to my point at the final end of this video. It's kind of like my fifth point, I think, for the full moon. But before we dive into that, I want to move through my next point. Okay, 
And the, the thing that it is that I'm seeing and that what I wrote down when I was channeling my messages is this idea of this greater plan. I don't wanna say perfecting the plan, but making sure that you are getting the details, resources, everything that it is that you need in order to be successful in this greater plan or this greater goal that is that you have for yourself. Now, because this is a general reading, I'm not looking at your specific chart. You're going to want to see what 27 degrees of Virgo falls within your chart or what Virgo rules within your chart because that area of your life is 1000% gonna be lit up, okay? And highlighted to your full, full attention. But whatever this goal is, you want it to be healthy, you want it to be stable, you want it to be prepared for longevity. Why? Well, because again, Pluto ruling transformation and also regeneration is in the final degrees of Capricorn, the sign that has been taking a beating and a, being completely transformed for a really, really long time. In the final degrees here, you guys, and as the sun is in the final degrees and as the moon is in the final degrees, this is something that is coming to a head. You're in the final stretch from what it is that I can tell of this plan of action that you've been working on, maybe privately or off the radar. One thing that I was intuitively receiving during my meditation after yoga this morning was there is a contact that you have right now that you can reach out to that will be able to help you with this greater plan and show them this plan, show them how serious you are, show them your, it's almost like a business plan or something, or show them what you want for yourself, or at least articulate it. Again, the part of fortune I'm sitting on the side of Gemini is your resources and your ability to communicate with someone other than yourself. Show them this and show them how serious you are and how detailed you are and be very specific with this. And I guarantee you, you will receive some type of level of help from this person. It, I don't see it as someone very, very close to you unless it's like a sibling or a neighbor, but for the most part, there is a contact. If you can reach out to them, I'm, I'm pretty sure they will help you. Just don't be afraid to ask. Now, this is the final point that it is that I'm seeing within the chart that I really wanted to bring to you guys' attention. And this is this idea of humanitarian call to action that will deviate from our normal rights, rituals, routines, and also the constitution. Ugh, I'm like a broken record talking about what's been going on with politics and business and money and finances and stock market and all of those things, you guys, hospitals, all of those things, all of, all of those areas that I've been talking about have been under the gun for so long. And I'm not actually at the point where we are in the thick of it clearly and we have been in the thick of it, but I, again, I'm like a broken record talking about it all the time. Literally, I'm using my Sharpie as a microphone. So I don't, Selfishly, I perp I just genuinely don't want to dive into this details even more. So just look at any one of my videos and I guarantee you I probably mention the Pluto Saturn transits and also Jupiter transits. I'm just not going to mention it in this video. However, I do have to talk about this idea of this privileged, established, wealthy type of people, persons that are going to be called to the forefront that are going to be needed to make some type of call of action or make some type of action in general in order to help the greater good and humanity. So I don't know how this is going to look like because it is so unpredictable. Hi, baby. You wanna come sell me that? Hi. Speaking of leaders, here's my little leader, Franklin. He's my Leo baby. He is five years old in my little chunk of chunk and my little sleepy nugget. So it's awesome to see a Franklin sighting because usually, he is sleeping or watching movies or listening to music on his iPad. Isn't that right, Bob? He literally lives his best life, you guys. I make him eggies every morning, but that's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and dive into the rest of this video. <laughs> I get so easily distracted. Again, Virgo vibes, so my mind runs a mile a minute, and I definitely deviate. I can talk about my animals for hours and hours because, again, Virgo rules six house and our ability to take care of our little little animals around the house that's why I have my homestead which is right behind me if you see any running in the background it's my chickens and I should show you guys my chicks I just hatched a whole bunch of chicks I even had a surprise hatching the other day remember that that was so cool we came home and there's a chick just sitting in the incubator like what's up I'm here early but whatever let's party literally that was the chicks vibe okay so like I was saying there is this calling out of the entitled and the privilege right so 
someone somewhere is just sitting back, relaxing, drinking their tea, having their snacks, living their best life. And those types of people, the ones who have a lot of money or the ones who normally sit back and are quiet are now going to be the ones who are being called into action in order to do something. And if it's not them, it's going to be other countries or places or politics that normally their constitution, their rules don't allow for them to be too involved because logically or rationally, it's not their battle to fight. But as I'm looking at the charts, there's this message of this is for the greater good of all of humanity. Like you have no choice. And what I can see is the full moon is going to stir them into action. Now, there are many, many times, especially when I do any, rarely any type of celebrity readings, or bigger picture readings that the mess, these energies and these messages, they're happening behind the scenes. So you're not going to see them right away all the time. Be, but just because you don't see it doesn't mean that the conversation hasn't already started to happen or wasn't initiated or even instigated. This is something that I 1000% and put my whole career, I can literally put my whole career on the line, that there is a conversation that is happening behind the scenes in order to call out those in positions of power, entitlement, and massive wealth need to step forward and also countries, wealthy countries need to step forward in order to protect again, the greater good of all of humanity. And the one message that keeps coming through is that this is for, it's the right thing. It may not be the logical thing, it may not be the rational thing, and it may ch challenge even the constitutions as we've known it, or the ways of the world that how things have always been done, but it needs to be done. And there's it's going to be a call of action behind the scenes, or maybe we'll hear of some type of breakthrough breakthrough um, with it. Elon Musk, what is his zodiac sign? Do you guys know? Don't be surprised if you see information about him or someone very similar to him showing up, or maybe someone like um, Jeff Bezos or Amazon. I don't know. We'll just see what happens, you guys. Um, the one last thing that it is that I was talking about here and that I'm seeing is again, Jupiter, Jupiter's growth. A lot of times when we hear the word growth, we think of only the good things. For example, growth in the garden, that feels really good. That feels very prosperous. But sometimes the growth can create problems. For example, a cancerous tumor. That's a problem and that's something that we need to address. I do see looking at the chart that this growth, whatever is growing here, needs to be nipped in the bud. And this is again, for the greater good of all of humanity. I hope this video makes sense. And I would love to invite you guys to pin this video, save this video, or maybe even share it with your friends. But for the most part, as you see information and news being revealed through media outlets, social platforms, anything like that, please, please, tag me or leave it down in the comments. This is because I notoriously, once I'm done a video and once I'm done channeling messages, I don't revisit it, I don't return it, return to it because I have so many other things going on in my life and I don't always watch the news and you guys are have been throughout time amazing with catching things and bringing my revelations and my prophecies to my attention so that I can see it. Not only does this help all of us here on the YouTube channel, all of the Bahati Vibe Tribe, but it also adds additional confirmation and validation for me, which I love personally and selfishly, I will admit. So if you need to find me and I want to invite you to find me, you can find me on all social media platforms, especially TikTok right now at Bahati Life, please make sure that you are using your own discernment and doing some checks and double checks that it is actually me. It's just B as in boy, E, H, A, T as in tiger, I, L, I, F, E, so life. There's no underscores, there's no numbers. And my one and only email address that I'll be emailing anyone if I even am talking to you is info at Bahati Life. I'm not using WhatsApp. I'm not using my phone number or anything else like that to contact anything or anyone. That most likely is a scam. If you need me, of course, you can find me working my magic in the apothecary for myself, for others, for the whole world. And that's at BahadiLife.com. I have candles, fixed candles, herbs, oils, everything that you can ever need in order to manifest your highest dreams and desires. And again, this is the year of harmony and alignment, honey. So make sure you get yourself something good. What are you harmonizing with? And what do you need to disconnect away from in order to make space for something amazing to grow beautifully in your life? Okay, all of that can be found at bahadilife.com. In the meantime, I'm sending you all of my love, all of the grace and kindness and compassion, and consideration and generosity and abundance and love 
that and light that the universe can possibly provide. I hope that it receives you with divine timing. Until then, I invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.